Tell me about 1965. What was it like when they actually did that boycott, boycott the whole city? People start taking notice. When they did that, shit, every dignitary that had any kind of pull in any kind of way, they all come out there trying to get up off of that. See, that stopped a whole lot of shit. They money making and a whole lot of shit come to a halt, you know. So in 1965, when the NFL <laughs> players boycotted the All-Star game, it had significant impact on society Everything. as a whole? Everything, yes, yes. You sure in the hell did. Do you think it uh, propelled some things forward? Yeah, it made a lot of things better. Yeah, sure The guys did. that actually uh, were involved in a boycott, did it hurt them? No, didn't hurt them made them, everybody looked, we was all patting them on the back, rubbing their head, patting them on the back, hugging them, kissing them. Shit, we thought they was the greatest motherfuckers that ever farted between two pairs of shoes. <laughs> they helped us all. Did you hear me? This way and everything, man. What do you mean by this? Economically? Money. So improved yes, everybody's economic money situation? Money improved everything. Do you think it forced the AFL and the NFL to merge at that huh? time? Huh? Did it force the AFL and the NFL to merge? Yeah, I think it did. But they went on and did, and that was good because it was enough players, black players, that in line that couldn't get jobs because it wasn't enough team. So when that AFL come in, that helped a lot of them, you know. Okay, so the yeah. AFL helped yeah. force the helped NFL to, look, to yeah. look, at, look at players. Look at, look at, look at joining, getting together. What was it like you and your brother being professional athletes? That was great. I was the oldest, he was the youngest. I was on defense and he was on offense. It's Did you funny. guys play together in high school? When we get re no. When we got ready to play against each other, everybody's looking. And he in, he's sitting out there at offensive end. I said, Nick, now you cut back on me, I'm gonna jack your <laughs> ass. I'm gonna jack your ass half and two. You better not cut back on 